here is Snek, and she is a reticulated python. She is 17 feet in length, and this is the world's largest snake species. Now, Snek is actually platinum retic, which is actually one of the largest growing variations of a reticulated python. She is absolutely massive, and she is only six and a half years old. Think about that. This is still a young snake. You got a pretty nice setup. Now, some of you have seen Snek before. This is her brand new enclosure. We actually built this pretty recently, or my dad built it, I should say. He did a really great job on it. Plexiglass. Stays pretty humid in here, which they really, really like. She can fully stretch out in this thing. She'll be able to stay in this enclosure probably for a couple more years. And check that. Her tail is as thick as most of the snakes that we film. This cage is pretty big. I can pretty much crawl up all inside of it. It's a little messy with the shavings, but it does keep it very clean. And have a look at her. Bright yellow coloration. She actually just shed very, very recently. Beautiful animal. We keep the temperature in here pretty consistent. It's a little bit difficult right now with it being winter time, but they like it somewhere between 72 and 82 degrees typically. Although warmer, the warmer it gets, the less likely you are going to be able to keep your snake under control. So always keep that in mind. Taking care of her is actually a bit complicated, but it's also very simple in a way. It's really difficult to feed her sometimes. They eat really big things. They eat rabbits and pigs and chickens. They eat pretty much anything they can get a hold of. Hopefully not me, you know. She's still only 17 feet, which is not big enough to actually take down a person. Now, platinum retics have that bright yellow coloration, really cool look and a really cool pattern. Very similar to the wild looking ones. They're just gonna be a much brighter coloration with a little bit of different patterning. But platinums do typically get the biggest. I believe the world record right now is Medusa and she's a platinum. <laughs> As you can see, this new double enclosure, we'll get to that later, has a good amount of space that can also be upgraded over time. Snek has been in this new setup for a good bit now, and she seemed to really enjoy it. All right guys, so today we've actually got to clean up the snake enclosure. You can see it's a bit dirty, got a lot of dirty shavings, water got spilled, there's shed skin pieces all over the place. Today we've got our good old unpaid intern, Bean, here to assist in dealing with the snake. You're quite small, so what we're going to do is you're going to crawl back that. We need you to get her for me and kind of just take her out and hand her to me. Don't worry, she was fed recently, so you should be fine. And if she does try to bite, you just like dodge. Oh my god. And fate, like go in and then grab her head and aim it towards me. You can stay in the cage. I'll hand you the broom stuff in a second. Get in there. Get over. Ah! Get in there! Sure. Ah. I'm getting. Alright, now he's got So now that she's so now that she's got food <laughs> uh, I won't have to feed her for another month now. <laughs> no, seriously, get to that corner though. No, don't do that though. No. That was not funny. Look. Look, see that first corner? Hand that to me. Just first coil? Yeah, that. And now like just nudge her body. Like, touch touch that part of her, just touch her tail. Watch. You got her? Yeah. Alright, here you go, take that. So Snake's cage needs to be cleaned out really as much as we feed her or as much as she spills her water. Uh, we could just keep the rubber mats down, but I find that the shavings actually help her shed a lot better. In fact, we've almost gotten full sheds from her, which is very difficult to get for a full grown python. And she's probably closing in on 17 feet, and she is a six and a half, seven year old snake. I mean, she's still pretty young. She is a one-person job to manage now, and she's about to become a two-person job. Like, seriously, this snake, imagine if she wanted to hurt me. She's very friendly, but like, I can't feel my foot. <laughs> she's actually got that wrapped to where I can't feel it. And that's not her being mean, she just does that. I don't know how heavy she is, honestly. I would say, Maybe. Last time I weighed her, ah! The last time I weighed her, she was 55 pounds. I'm gonna assume she's around 70. That would be my best guess. What do you mean, no? She's at least 100 pounds. She's not, come here and hold her. Hang on, hang on, we're switching places. Give me that camera. Hold me. Yeah, no, she's heavy. How much? She's, uh, in total, there's no way that she's like, 80 pounds or 70 pounds. She's got to be like 100 pounds. 
Oh my god. She's not a hundred pounds. Dear lord. Well, I tell you what, she's about putting a hundred pounds of pressure on my shoulder right now. That That is true. She can probably put about <laughs> 600 pounds. So she's being nice. She's so cute. Yeah, wait, let's get the, the rest of the weight. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break my back. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm walking to the store now. Yep. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh man. You know, maybe you're right. Yeah, no, she, she can't be like a hundred pounds. Maybe. Yeah, I'm just stupid, but okay. Ten out of ten. Oh gosh, where are you going now? Yeah, not 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 made for children. Uh, you got her? Yeah, no, she's yeah. Oh, you no, help? No, I don't. I don't got her. Wait. <laughs> All right. No. All right, switch spots. Switch yeah. spots. This next disposition is incredible, which makes her great for education and presentation to groups of people. But a typical wild reticulated python's attitude would be a lot more like a big angry water snake. So you never want to approach or play with these snakes lightly, as a bite from one of these can be pretty nasty. Most people don't actually grow their pythons they, because it takes so much effort. It takes so much feeding, it takes so much work to maintain. So they keep them at that smaller size, between 10 and 12 feet at maximum. That's what people like to keep their breeders at. I don't agree with that. I think this snake would be eaten all year round. She should be growing. They get huge in the wild. That's how big we want her to be. And Quite frankly, she's on her way there. You good? I hit my head. <laughs> Ow. Hurry up, man. I got enough time for a Raid Shadow Legends ad with you sitting there. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> the cleaning typically is going to consist of sweeping out bedding, vacuuming, wiping down the sides and the glass, as well as topping off the water on almost a weekly basis. It takes a good 30 minutes to an hour to get everything fully detailed and ready for new bedding, followed by snack being put back in. So now we've got this thing cleaned out here. I'm gonna hand her off to you. Just take her while I fill it back up with shavings. Uh, don't, don't lose my snake. How can you lose a giant? Here you go. Uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> ah, there you go. Where's the head at? Down there. I think there. it's in the bed, right? No. That's the tail. Where is it? I can't see. Oh, wait, it's starting to squeeze my neck. All right. So now her cake is all cleaned up. That took about, what, 30 minutes, maybe? If you gotta lift her up there, there you go. Girl. Yeah, and she's gonna mess up all this. She's gonna put the shavings everywhere. She's a big snake, so that's just how it goes. It's just to keep it nice and clean. All right. And that's about what it takes to clean her cage one time. But that, is a beautiful cage. We don't actually have any hides for her in this yet, but eventually what we're gonna do is probably put a branch across this, something for her to climb up on, and then a nice hide in that corner. She's already got a pretty decent water feature, but we're gonna add something bigger in the future. But this is a nice setup. As you can see, she can stretch out fully across it, and she is looking good. Now some of you may be wondering, and some of you also may have noticed, this is a double cage. We just got another python. He is in this container right here. And this is Gus. So we now have a male retic. And uh, it looks like he's going to need some TLC because uh, transport on pythons can be rough. And we're actually just getting him here. Now already I can tell we've got some issues. And this is stuff that can be worked out. And it's probably not the previous owner of Gus's fault. This is probably transport. Because one, it takes a little while. And two, it can be really hard on the animals. So we definitely want to give him as much care as possible in between now and just really whenever it takes to get him better. There's two things that I'm noticing immediately. One is he's had a really bad shed. So you'll see here that, see how he's shedding? I'm probably gonna have to soak him. And what that is is taking him, putting him in a solution of water and a little bit of other stuff that'll help him get that shed off. He needs to have stuff to rub up against in his enclosure to get that off. So not a big deal, but it can lead to skin infection later down the line if we don't deal with it. The second thing, can actually be major and this I know happened in transport if you look right there on his face see his lips how they're curled down a little bit in two spots so that is something that happens when a snake is really upset about being confined in a tight space and they try to push out of it so what he was probably trying to do is push out of this container and he hurt his lips in the process and transport and what that can eventually lead to is mouth rot which can be seriously dangerous both short term and long term to the snake. This is not gonna be difficult to deal with. We're gonna get him some antibiotics. All right, let's go ahead and get Gus in his new enclosure. He is just a bump smaller than her. He's probably about 16 feet and probably weighs seven, 
higher in the 60s, maybe seven pounds. And this is where he's gonna be living now. We're just gonna keep the rubber mats down for now with him until we can set him up with some other stuff. Well guys, there it is, the brand new python enclosure and the brand new python. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing, and we will see you guys next time. That is awesome.